Hi, I'm Alex from Safe Tech for Santa Rosa, and today I'm going to be showing you the levels of RF radiation that we are exposed to from our normal household items. We have a laptop, a cell phone, AirPods, and a, an iPad here. The levels of RF radiation in this room are very low. Uh, according to the Bioinitiative Report and Building Biologists, we want levels for long-term exposure to be below 50 millivolts per meter. And for short-term exposure, anything lower than 30 minutes, we want to be below 600 millivolts per meter. At this time in this room, without any of these devices turned on, we're at a nice 10 to 9 millivolts per meter, which is a very good safe level to be at for a long-term exposure. And we will go ahead, we're going to show you what happens when we turn on these devices one by one and the exposure levels that will occur at different body parts. So let's go ahead and start with the laptop. Because of the pandemic, most people are working from home or distance learning, which means they're using a laptop. And this laptop has its Wi-Fi turned off, which you would be able to use the laptop this way if you had an ethernet connection, but most of us are using Wi-Fi. So the, the levels remain very low with the Wi-Fi turned off. We're at eight millivolts per meter in this room. And let's go ahead and turn the Wi-Fi on to get internet connection. And so now that'll turn on the antennas of the laptop and we shoot up over a thousand millivolts per meter. At our head, we'll be at six to 700 millivolts per meter from the laptop. Down back by the hands, we're of course a little bit higher, about 1100 millivolts per meter. So definitely much higher levels of RF radiation because of the laptop, above that 600 millivolts for short-term exposure, and well above the 60 millivolts we want to be for long-term exposure over 30 minutes. Okay, we're looking at a cell phone now, an Apple iPhone, something that many people use. And the phone is on airplane mode, and you can see that levels of RF are very low in this room, about nine millivolts per meter. We'll go ahead and turn on the antenna, turn off airplane mode, and we'll go ahead and put it in our dummy's hand here, and you'll see the levels of RF from our phone. Over a thousand millivolts per meter. And remember a smartphone is smart, so it's continuing, continuing to communicate with the cell phone tower for updating all the applications on the phone. Here we have some Apple AirPods and they are turned off with the case closed, low levels of RF. And look what happens immediately when we open the case and take out the earbud. Our levels of RF go up pretty high. You can see people walking around with the ear pod in their head. About, it's peaking at about seven or 800 millivolts per meter. And here we have an Apple iPad that is on airplane mode. You see the levels of RF remain low, about nine millivolts per meter. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the Wi-Fi, turn off airplane mode. And you'll see the levels next to the iPad go up pretty high. Look at all these gadgets. It's probably not uncommon for people to have multiple devices running at the same time off of Wi-Fi, not including a Google Home or an Apple iWatch or wireless keyboard or wireless mouse. We're gonna look at what we have here and show you the cumulative effect. So we're still at low levels of RF. Look what happens when we turn on all the devices. Again, I'm Alex from Safe Tech for Santa Rosa, and to learn more about how to use these devices safely with a wired connection, please visit us at facebook.com forward slash SR Safe Tech 
or email us at srsafetech at gmail.com.